Ethosuximide is a drug used to treat absence seizures. In this mnemonic video, we'll give you an easy way to remember everything you need to know about ethosuximide. Happy Earth Day! Today at school, I'm giving an Earth Day presentation to my class. See that big model of Earth in the front of the classroom? Use Earth to anchor you to this scene about ethosuximide, because Earth kind of sounds like ethosuximide, right? You can even think of it as Earthosuximide, if that helps. Wait, wait, don't mark me absent. I'm running a little late and my teacher has a very strict attendance policy. Take a closer look at her sitting in her very comfortable chair with anti-shake shocks. These anti-shake shocks are a recurring symbol for treating seizures because both stop shaking, right? And the teacher about to mark me absent is here to remind you that ethosuximide treats absent seizures. Absence seizures, also called petit mal seizures, are a type of seizure that most commonly occur in children. They are characterized by a brief, sudden lapse of attention or consciousness, often described as brief periods of blanking out, kind of like being absent from your body, if you know what I mean. Now that we know when ethosuximide is used, let's move on to some potential side effects. The reason I'm late is because my lunch didn't sit well with my stomach. I'm feeling really nauseous, but I have to give this Earth Day presentation if I want a good grade in the class. My nausea reminds me, ethosuximide can cause GI distress, including nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, or loss of appetite. Yeah, I'm feeling all of those things right now. But that's not all. Not only did the food not sit well in my stomach, but I'm having a bad reaction to it in the form of a rash. This rash can help you remember that an adverse effect of ethosuximide is a rash. In severe cases, the rash can evolve into Stevens-Johnson syndrome, a severe skin rash with blistering and peeling that can lead to life-threatening skin death if left untreated. This is a pretty rare side effect of ethosuximide, but because Stevens-Johnson syndrome is so serious, it's actually pretty high yield for the NCLEX. It's important to know to report signs of a rash after ethosuximide immediately. All right, that's all for this mnemonic. Let's recap. Ethosuximide is an anticonvulsant drug used to treat absence seizures. GI distress in the form of nausea or vomiting is the most common side effect. Ethosuximide may rarely cause Stevens-Johnson syndrome, so be sure to report any signs of a rash. And now we're actually done with ethosuximide. See you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.